Hi, this is John with WeLoveSoapsTV.net, and I am here with Deidre Hall and Drake Hogason at the Days of Our Lives fan event. How are you guys doing? Only perfect. We are wonderful. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for, for talking with us. So, Deidre, I've got to ask you, I think you're the only person here that's not only had one doll made of her likeness, but you've actually got two. Oh, we're going there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great All place right. to go. I think it's fantastic. No, no, no but remember this. No, it'll be fine. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have a, I have a uh, an action figure uh, in my likeness, and I have the Marlena doll. Yes, next. <laughs> <laughs> so Drake, I'm sorry, I don't I don't know if oh, you've got you any said. dolls made after you yet, but any dolls that um, it's no great honor. Well, I do have a couple of my daughter's dolls, but we'll talk about that on another show, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> So you, know, you guys have worked together for, for quite a while, and um, I'm curious, at this point, is there anything that the other might be surprised to know about you that they don't already know? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. You can't help but work so many years together and know each other so well and have any real surprises. So I think that's why the audience resonates with them, because that comes across on camera, too. And they are, uh, they are a married couple. And, and we're just not that interesting. Yeah, well, what it, well now would you no, say? No, I mean, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> we complete each other's thoughts. There we go. So. Well, and then if you look at all the everything that you guys have been through and, and what you're going through now, um, it seems like there's, there's no shortage of real interesting stories for you guys. Yep, it is. And what's lovely, I was saying earlier, what's lovely about working with Daryl and Marlene's scenes mm -hmm. is that they're so complete in themselves and so full of history and so full of reality that once we pick up the words, we can throw that away and really play with the scene. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're very respectful of the audience and, and the, the history of the show and the audience's knowledge of what the characters have been through. So therefore, the storylines that we can do right now are character-driven. And, and the, whatever the plots are, it's like, yeah, the character would react that way in the, in the storyline. It's not like a plot-driven storyline where the audience goes, well, she would never do that. Well, she just would never do that. And that's what you lose the audience. Right now, the audience is on board because, yeah, she would do that in the storyline we're he playing. he would do that. Yep. He would. Yeah, and that's the, the one thing with, um, with, with your individual characters as well as you have, as a couple. Um, no matter what curveballs get thrown your way, there's always that connection with, yeah, I know what Marlena would do, and I know what John would do. Right, right. You want to stay true to that. And that's what throws the audience most is in, over my years that I've been there, and we had some writers that would like reinvent the character or change the history and the audience is no, no that did not no, happen yes. and they know the exact you day listen. that he this did happen and what he said and it's like you don't fool you don't mess with them and that's what that's what Marlene and Daryl are doing they're being very respectful of that audience that stayed with the show for 45 years and right now they want to take them back to that warm fuzzy place that they knew and they loved and the emotional attachments they have with the audience so they're they're basically showing how John and Marlena got to where they were and, and and, and we're having fun going there, too. We are. And that's a great point for you to make, because your character has been so many different people over time, and yet still who you are and who you guys are as a couple you know, is always there at the top. Yeah. I'll get off track here for a second. I flew into New York when we did the Today Show on our relaunch, right. and the flight attendant came up and said, oh, my God, I'm a big, oh, my God, I've watched your show forever, and I know all about your character. <laughs> No, no, it was really great. She was like, oh, about your character being, you know, Jason Bourne from Robert Ludlum's book, and I'm like... Wow. wow, that's and the guy next to me says, interesting, I couldn't help but overhear that. Do you know about Jason Bourne? I, and I look at him and I kind of recognize him and it was Jeremy Renner. And he's going into New York to be the new Jason Bourne on the Bourne Legacy. So we had a very interesting, in, interesting talk. But it's like, yes, yeah, she knows the character of John Black yeah. better than he knows himself. In this particular storyline, she's more trusting of him than he is of himself. And he listens to her and he feeds off her and he holds on to her. That's what couples need to do in this day and age. And where are you hoping that they, um, that they keep bringing you guys? Well, we like being together. And I think that's replenishing and reassuring for the audience. And it's also a comfort. You know, when there are hard times out there, you want to see families pull together and take care of each other. And that's what we're doing in everything, every storyline we have. We know this, this is economic hard times that we're going through. We're going through them on the show right now. So we're taking a page out of the front page of the newspapers and we're playing it out. Um, and, and what we are establishing is that things are going to get really, really rough, but if you have each other, you know, you can get through this, but just like two are stronger than one. And that's the point we want to get across on our show right now. And, uh, and I think it's resonating with the audience.
Yeah, and with days being about family and using family for strength, um, I totally see that. And I can see a lot of people wanting to hang on to that. So we're looking forward to, to where you guys are going to go and where the show is going to go. We are. We are. Great. Yeah, it's a surprise. We never know. We, you know. We get the scripts pushed underneath our dressing room door. We come in in the morning, we pick it up, and we sit down, and we're guessing along with everybody else. You know, They don't tip their hand anymore about where your story's going, right. so we're surprised like everybody else. Full of surprises. Mm -hmm. Well, as we look to the surprises for the future, we'll wrap this up, and thank you guys so much for, for talking with us. We really appreciate it. It's a pleasure meeting you, and hope you have a great rest of the day. I want to give you my book before we get Oh, before sure, book. yeah. Um, Hot off the press, Deidre Hall's How Does She Do It? It's a beauty book. Oh, Amazon.com, and this is your copy. So enjoy and have a oh, Thank you so much. You too will know Amazon.com <laughs> or DeidreHall.com. 40 years behind the camera, you too can do it. How does she do it? Buy it and find out. That you're good. You are good. That was, a, that was great. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. Good to yeah. see you.